Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the Money Wise channel. Yeah, on this channel, we're going to talk about inspirational events and a lot of great money things, you know? <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm going to give you my reaction to whatever I saw and hopefully it leaves you inspired. You know, people send me stuff or I'll see it on the Internet and I'm like, let me watch this and give my opinion if it catches, you know, my attention. So basically today what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about this engineer slash producer named Young Guru. Then the video, the, the video basically was called Jay-Z's engineer, Young Guru interviewed on artists asking to be slaves so that caught my attention artists asking to be slaves whenever you hear that word slaves and anything you're like whoa 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 what are we talking about so it caught my attention i said let me check this out so basically when you see jay-z's engineer or producer young guru immediately unless you're in the music industry you're like well who's young guru to be speaking so let me give you a little information on him so you have that Young Guru, his real name is Gamil Andros Keaton. He's from New Jersey. He got his name as a teen that taught African history classes at a community center in his hood, in his neighborhood. He used his name, um, Young Guru, because he was so young and he was a guru that he knew a lot about what he was speaking on. He used that name to become a DJ as a teenager also. And when he did that, more people learned more about him. They got to know who he was and he was actually good. He had a good ear of bringing beats in and dropping beats out. And he, he understood the African culture. So he might throw a little mix in there or something like that and jump back. Because there was groups like different groups out there at that time of conscious rap that they would flip things out like that. And he was perfect for that because he actually understood what he was doing. So in, say, 1990, he ended up. 1990s he bought his own equipment his lights his microphones his dj equipment and um as he went to howard university he started to do shows there djing throwing parties and this is important because during that time puffy sean combs diddy <laughs> man of many names he also went to howard and also threw parties there too even after he left there because, you know, he dropped out to start working for Uptown Records and then he started Bad Boy Records. So he would still go back to Howard. That was that's his place. So being there, he heard Young Guru DJing, doing a great job and Puff liked it. So he ended up hiring him to be an engineer for him. So at that point, Young Guru started to come to New York especially all the way into like 1999, I think at the time where he really locked in in New York because he was going from there to Washington, D.C. But he really locked in with a guy named, I believe, Derek D. Dot Angelette or something like that. But I know D. Dot is what they call him. And when he worked with him, he locked in with him in 1999. He started to work with Memphis Bleak and many others, which got him to Jay-Z. Because if you know anything about Memphis Bleak, because he worked with other people too, but when he worked with Memphis Bleak, Jay Memphis Bleak is like Jay Z's little brother. So once you with him, he gonna tell uh, Jay like, "Hey, it's this guy over here. He got a great ear. His sound. He's intelligent, and all those things." So Jay come right in like, "Okay, I want to work with him too." That's pretty much how it works. And at that point, he gave Jay Z end up giving him also the job. Uh, he DJ for Watch the Throne for him and Kanye, you know, and he did mix stuff for Kanye too. So and also after that, once Jay-Z came in the picture, he still works with other people, but he engineers all Jay-Z songs or so any song you hear from Jay-Z, Young Guru is doing it. You pull up clips on the Internet, or YouTube with somebody in the, interview, uh, in the studio with him. I bet you Young Guru is in there. He's always with him. He's the guy that Jay-Z trusts with his voice, his vocals, his mixes, Young Guru's on everything to the point, like I said, he made him the DJ. At the watch the throne to make sure everything sounds good coming out the speakers so this is who young guru is so you can be clear why he can speak and why we would listen to him so jay-z's engineer young guru interviewed on artists asking to be slaves that's what caught my attention this is what i was thinking this is what i know about him now you have the information so now we can move forward because now you know why 
anybody would listen to Young Guru. Does that make sense? <laughs> so now as we move forward in the video, he spoke of people signing the major deals and he's like why are you guys signing that's making y'all a slave they become your masters that's why they keep your masters because you are a slave you shouldn't do that you're begging to be a slave you're you're asking you're going to find somebody at a label and you're begging you're dancing tap dancing singing or rapping whatever you need to do they walking out burger king you just rapping latin and then a hip it hit you're doing everything you can to get signed but then you mad about the deal that you negotiated. He said, like, you, you beg to be a slave. So if you say you a slave, you beg to be a slave. Now it's funny. Cause you know, Kanye probably somewhere like I said the same thing and they, they jumped all over me when he talked about being a slave. But this is the thing. What he's, what he was saying is, yo, y'all asked for it. So that's why don't complain and say you a slave. He went on to also say, um, that he can find a rapper or he can rap, write the records, record it, produce it. He said, I don't need the major label. It doesn't make sense. He said, I don't need their loan. I don't need their money. I put my own money up. He, he, he called that being a slave, asking to be a slave for their asking for their money, asking for them to back you and market you. He said, all oh, that slave stuff. And he, he said, you can do it yourself. You know, now in the same breath, he said he still mixed records for the major deal, major companies, as you see. And he said he still get that money, but he said he gets his money and he's out. And then he reiterated that even though he makes songs for these majors, he still he would never sign, you know, with a major company because he thinks it's stupid. Anybody that does sign with a major company and do business with them is stupid. And he also said that he he, he was in a, a meeting with. Um, L.A. Reid and someone played a song by artists and the artist was up there and they were, you know, doing what they do all doing. And he looked at L.A. Reid, raised his hand and said, this is ridiculous. This is terrible. It's not conscious rap. It don't make sense. Who wants to hear this? And L.A. Reid and the people told him, like, but this is going to sell. And he said, OK. And he took the record and he went on and probably went and mixed it you know so even though he didn't like it he still mix it he said he gets this check and he keeps it moving so when he's looking at these people like they're stupid and they're asking to be slaves it's very interesting so that's what he said he said nah he wouldn't do it don't make sense to him and saying that these record companies in capacity will not be here and forward they all will be gone or changed up and people should just do their own thing so to him it's just beneath him for how he see it so I, I thought it was interesting and if you go look at the video you can see it's a lot of fire coming off him. a lot of people in the background go oh my god like he was you know like the baptist preacher speaking of, oh god like like you're going to go to hell like oh lord you know it's that whole feeling in there so you gotta go check the video out it's kind of crazy jay-z's engineer producer young guru um talking about artists asking to be slaves you can pull it up on the internet and watch it now, I know you guys want to know my opinion. You know, is this fair or unfair? Fair or unfair? That's the question. Well, I say this. It's what's best for you. You know, if you don't have the money, do you need the loan? <laughs> if you need some help, you need some help. If you want Young Guru to, rap, to uh, mix your stuff, you're going to need some money. Because he's not going to do your stuff for free. You know, so you may need the money. You may need the marketing dollars. You may need it. The best you can do is try to get some leverage or to negotiate the best deal possible. On the flip side, too, when he says it's, you know, basically stupid, basically it doesn't make sense to him why people are doing it. Then my question would be to him, all the people that he worked with from Beyonce, Kanye West, Meek Mill, just did Meek Mill's album, the champion album 2018. He mixed it. Go pull him up on the credits. Uh, he hangs out with Meek Mill, Memphis Bleak, The Dream, etc., etc., etc. All these people that he works with, that he called friends and family that he's hanging out with at the Rock Nation brunch. Mostly people he rock with. So all these people want to be signed or they are signed. Jay-Z was signed at one moment. Jay-Z signs people. This is just the reality of it. So if he's so against it, then why he's staying in the system? I don't understand that. If I say, yo, this is poison, I want no part of it, I'm not gonna take a sip of it. Or well, maybe you would. Would you take a sip of the poison? <laughs> I don't know, but I wouldn't. But I say, do what's best for you. If that's what you need to do, then that's what you need to do. Overall, my thing is, you gotta stay excited about life. 
you gotta stay excited about your goals and dreams everybody's path is different there's no wrong or right whatever's best for you whatever's best for you so but i say stay excited about your goals keep going after it i'm going to be dropping more videos to inspire you faith without works is dead remember keep your eyes out for the small things as you are doing the big things like and subscribe to this money wise channel for more wisdom remember the plans change but the goals stay the same like and subscribe i'll see you on the next video yep <laughs>